Fifteen ten, fifteen ten. Attack, attack, attack. Attack again. That's a big move. I don't think there's any need for that big move. Can't do that. Defend. Mm -hmm. Leave the queen hanging there by itself. Maybe we can trap it later on. So just ignore it. So he's wanting to get rid of this knight because the knight is protecting this pawn. Bring the queen, defending again. There's not much you can do when somebody's out and out just attacking, attacking, attacking. So you have to aggressively defend, as far as I can see, anyway. But for me, it's a defense that puts your pieces in a very good, almost counter-attacking position. So it's like an office, offensive defense. So let the let the opponent push punch themselves out. This 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 player is a an attacking aggressive player already just from the first was it three or four moves that they've made so let them exhaust themselves they'll overextend and then when they overextend we can then break their equilibrium okay so he's attacking again what do we say he's like an aggressive monster but when they do that they do have gaping holes in their defense and we've got to take advantage of those types of things I'm actually just attacking If he's smart, he's going to take here because my knight can't take him back. So he's won the pawn. <laughs> because the bishop has got a next way through. So I moved a little bit too quick there with my attack. I should have done a defensive maneuver. Lessons learned. He's not actually done it, but that's what he could have done. So he would have had a check on me. I would have then had to do something to defend, maybe bring my queen back again. So he would have been a pawn up. So I'll take on the inside or the outside. Let's take on the outside. Space for the rook, not that I'm going to bring the rook here, but if he leaves his pieces there, we can do. So our at our attack worked, but it wasn't the best. And it's off again. He's attacking here because we can't take it back here. So I think we're going to have to bring this bishop here, defending again because of the move order. His knight can take, and then the pawn can take, which is still defending this pawn. So that's why we've done that type of manoeuvre. Aggressively defending. And we learned from the lesson with the Queen just then. Make sure it's an aggressive defence rather than an attack which then leaves you open for a, um, a counter attack. We got lucky there. Mm -hmm. So this one, we can term this as dealing with an aggressive attacker. 
what's the next move he's thinking of castling but in his, in their brain they're going I really want to attack I need to keep the momentum going so if I go and castle I'm losing tempo so I must attack something yeah he may even go for the bishop taking you know just to attack something this person wants to hurt you oh he's moved it one down so he didn't actually attack with that pawn did he lose tempo and give me time to actually come in for an attack I can attack his pawn his pawn can drop I can go here but then his bishop takes so that's an attack that I could do I could castle or I could just bring my bishop here and defend I'm going to just bring this and it opens up our rook because probably we're contemplating castling the queen side seems to make sense to me So a pretty interesting game. I'm not sure why they did this because this bishop here is like jammed in. So he's done like massive attacks right at the early part of the game, and then this um, this was like a, f a flailing a flailing punch. So like we said, this pawn can come here to protect this pawn because the knight was going to be taken. So it looks like we've won a tempo back just from this one movement here because the opponent was attacking 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 and then suddenly went well no I just want to slip on this banana skin for a bit and then come back in and attack again so that moment there they broke their own equilibrium so now they're trying to get their balance back as far as I can see yeah the attack fizzled out punched themselves out slipped on a banana skin now they're trying to get back up again it's not saying we're winning but it's nice to have some sort of psychological strategy attack attack you see look at this attack and our pawn can push onto his knight obviously his knight can come here and what i'm thinking is what can come and defend this pawn can defend but he does have this bishop that's going to stop our um, castling process because it's going to come here and it's going to stop the castling process so if we know this this is the back end of what he's attempting to do we could just push this pawn here if he does take then we well we can take with the knight actually yeah so I think back end of that maneuver there is trying to stop us from queenside castling I think we go here again defense were aggressively defending which looks like we're you know it's, it's giving us a strong force going forward I think doesn't look like we're going very far but we're trying to prevent these um, massive attacks that the opponents done he slipped on a banana skin then he's come straight back attacking again and he's still looking to plan to attack again trying to block the bishop's pathway he's not going to be happy with that like I said he doesn't want to go on castle he wants to try and keep that momentum of the attacks going and we're trying to make them pay the price for that so I think because he's in attack mode he's just going to he's going to take here we can take if the bishop takes I'm not I'm, I'm okay with my king he's going to castle Woo. so let's get castled ourselves then He really didn't want that, he didn't like that. Didn't like that at all, you can tell. Okay, so I'm feeling quite good now because we've got this old half open file here towards the king. So he's probably going to look to bolster that a little bit. But we do have our, well, depending on how long this bishop stays on, we do have our own attack formation that we can put in place, although he's got his white square bishop. It's an idea there's potential force towards their king if anything and obviously we do have these pawns that can push up here mm. it's so warm it's got it was there uh, what is it tw 22 degrees i know some people will laugh at 22 degrees but yeah that's really that's warm i've got the fans on got the windows open can hear the traffic outside can hear the fans Oof. 
but the worst thing about the heat is that yes it's hot during the day it's getting the evening time now um, and then the heat seems to soak into the house so then it ends up being cooler outside so I can't wait to go back outside Whew. okay so we've got them thinking which I suppose is a good thing just take that off there captures captures and um, I do like my bishop being here I uh, could have more pawns in the center maybe open up this this file or do we want to keep the, keep the king safe so a bishop takes Bishop takes. He put a lot of thought into that, so I'm going to take a little time to think because this man is so aggressive. Every move is just attack, attack, attack. So, what's his next attack? Obviously, it's going to be that. But it looks like he's saving himself, but we'll see. What I did there. I do like that. And there's nothing there at the minute, but I still, I still like that. Take attack instant attack on the knight. Bishop takes then doubles my pawns. Attack knight comes here. Juicy space there. Let's attack. Let's take it off the board. We've worked out. He's attacking monster, so he's probably going to go there. We've worked out we can sit here. I don't know how much of a benefit it's going to be because then he pushes there. We land here. Doesn't have to keep his bishop there. Oh, he's gone for the capture. It's gone quick as well. So if we go here, opening up our rook. So then we're owning the file for a second. So let's take that. So I would say that the use of the old system of lockdown in this part here, well basically from the start of this game because the opponent was attacking, 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 so we aggressively defended and then we got to a lockdown period here with the pawns whereby we maintained that lockdown because it was beneficial to ourselves tempo wise. So it's utilising both of those and mixing it in, just basically. I'm not saying keeping the tension, I think it's a different thing. It's not keeping the tension, it's just locking it down on purpose for yourself. It's not a tension thing, it's just saying, well, okay, I want to just lock this area down so that at least if they take, I'm going to be an advantage and they're going to be disadvantaged. And keeping the tension is its own little thing. You know, it's like basically going, well, I'm not going to move this, I'm just going to lock it down as tight as possible. And to me, there was no, well, I didn't use it right, probably, because I didn't, I always ended up losing out on tempo when everything was locked down in the center and the edges and everywhere and nobody could move. Whereas, use it, utilizing it here. It didn't feel like a keeping the tension type thing. It felt like a a good add-on to the aggressive defensive work that we've been working with the answer. So it's a small detail. Um, looking to exchange off the rooks now. My knee-jerk reaction is to go backwards because the knight doesn't really have anything. This is going to attack it anyway. Don't really want to do that because of the doubling pawn thing that we talked about. So we could come back. His knight's not got anywhere really. I mean, it could come and attack this pawn, but our knight is then protecting this pawn. Let's attack because his bishop's blocking his way, so his bishop will have to move probably here, just so he's linking his rooks up. Bump up one. 
and then bring this rook across doubling up yeah it's gone to the exact same spot just go for the double he's not going to want us to double so take with the bishop then bring the rook across so we'll take here because he's an attacking monster if suddenly he starts thinking strategically like um, basically saying oh well I'll just bring my rook here so that I can then double up then my belief is that he probably loses out I mean it's the same situation that we're in and he could say well I'm losing out if he takes my rook now but I just yeah like I said if he's thinking strategically we could always just bring our rook here and then he brings his rook and then we take and we're still owning the file so I'm actually just bringing it here I think it's worse for them because they're one move behind just from that banana peel slip that they did earlier with this pawn move you have to believe in something I believe that they're down a tempo and it's a very important tempo because they broke their own equilibrium yeah so now it's just a simple case of taking now might just take with a knight so that then he's blocking his own way he doesn't let's just get that off the board so now this is the position that we're looking for he might feel happy that he's got the bishop but it's opposite ah you see he knows the system so I was going to take there and get that doubled up and so I wasn't bothered about having opposite colored bishops because that's no no good to me so let's go in they're still down a tempo positionally so it was a nice that he did that but on the face of it now there's no dice he's done the Bobby Fisher Spaska thing type Spasky type thing it's going to push on to our knight because our knight is protecting this pawn here going to go for his queen bishop sorry so positionally like I said we were up a tempo so now this, this just because he's an attacking monster he'll probably be up a pawn or something after all of this but positionally on the board we have I'm going to say it we have a bishop and he has a knight and I'm going to use the power of the bishops to the best of my ability remember I used to be just a knight man and I didn't like the bishops but now I hopefully can use them the same okay so let's bring the king up pressure in these pawns now he's going to want to try and get these down got a little cluster of pawns here not looking to move them unless of course he just wants to take them off the board we'll just take 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 and this is quite let's go here yeah he's so aggressive huff, 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 huff. now it's all about positional play I usually tend to find that the aggressive type players the end game they don't like definitely don't like positions like these they just um, struggle because it's too arty for them there's nothing clear to actually attack so I want to try and use that knowledge as best possible um, I think what we want to do is just make sure his king is not feeling happy and if this can be a passer if he drops there then we, then that's at least a passer so his king's going to have to sit around babysitting that pawn oh yes so he has done so he's going to have to sit around babysitting this pawn or the knight's going to have to come and try and hold court there so he's going to try and get rid of the pawn on the back so we can push here then he does have this pawn that can potentially get rid of this pawn but then that becomes a passer so that's what I mean by <coughs> positional play <coughs> especially in the later stages of a game yeah so he's doing exactly what I'm saying so he's coming here he's probably not going to want to attack he's probably going to try and get this back what's he doing he proposes a take back <coughs> I don't know what take back he wants to take but it's crucial stages of the game like I said most aggressive players that I play against they kind of struggle against this sort of ending because there's nothing to attack he's attacked this pawn here but 
he's probably seen the pattern that he's probably going to lose out I'm going to end up getting a pass pawn on this side as well and his knight is under pressure as it is so he's going to have to move his knight the bishop can take this pawn here so there's no take backs that I'm actually entertaining because he's played very well very aggressive player so I'm clicking no dice probably might get a resigna resignation now So it's quite entertaining. I'm not saying I've won. There might be some. <clears throat> so he's actually taken. So this passer here, like we said, is probably the saving grace for us because if we capture with the check, he takes the pawn. Our king can come and chase this pawn here. So he's still going to have to stay around that pawn that's passed. He may take this pawn just to try and alleviate that. But we'll come across here. It's probably trying to get our king further away from the situation by pushing the pawn we capture but he's still got that pressure there this takes we take back <clears throat> and then they'll try and run this down but this pawn is guarding this area so it's all pretty straightforward let's just grab here i'm surprised they've continued on actually captures and we capture here kings come around the back but there's no real point in doing that because as soon as he goes behind this pawn this goes up and gets promoted it can attempt to sort of block me and he's um, going for it anyway so it doesn't make no difference it's just a different move order but same position that we were talking about and this pawn is going nowhere because we have this pawn protecting so we can just push this a little bit just to make it look like we're doing something and then next moves is just moving the king up he's gonna get trapped because he won't be able to move his king here so he'll have to move back so he should his next move is probably going to be this so if they move there we can work quite nicely towards this other pawn round the back here round oops, all the way up to this point here just to get to this square and then we can challenge this pawn if it pushes down then the king can come round the side So it's gone to the, I believe, the wrong spot. But I don't, I don't think it would have made much difference. It probably would just be a matter of time, really. So he's looking to block off there, isn't he? Because we can move here, and then he'll just move up and down. So we might avoid doing that altogether and just bring the king here. Then he comes down again. Then we move up here. Then he, he can't and they've resigned so that was like a slow strangulation the boa constrictor type um, situation and we talked through all of the maneuvers going through there it's a really interesting game and i think we we got lucky when we turned our defense into an attack a little bit too early just go through go through the analysis and so yeah we locked down quite nicely very aggressive player these are the scary players the players that put people off of actually playing chess ever again you know because they just come in hard and fast bang 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 attack attack so we defend then it was this queen move it, it could throw you off quite nicely so nice simple defense and again defense with the queen and yet yeah, that was not the move let's have a look at the eval thing So it's basically saying bring the queen down here because it's still then protecting this here not to be worried too much about this because the pawn can take yeah so again probably didn't need to bring my queen up because we can take with the pawn okay so what did it go from plus 0.9 to plus 0.2 so nothing major major but I think if they would have taken we would have had a bit more work to do see going backwards wouldn't be nice we would have been developing yeah developing yeah okay 
yeah so I think we got lucky there and then after that I think it was more planes plain sailing they captured then we captured aggressive defense again defending yes we explained all of this this was the, the lockdown position lockdown posi position but not keeping the tension yeah well you could term it as keeping the tension whichever but because it's a different mindset for myself I'm looking at it as a lockdown position that's old yeah so it's no major advantages but now we're starting to get a bit as we explained as we were going through that's really quite smooth oh what's that night taking the Whoa, that's a bit fancy ah uh, you know oh silly me the rook's got no defense the rook's got no defense so we could have taken that these things I've been I've been practicing those types of maneuvers you know those secret discovery moves ah oh, I'm disappointed with that oh that's a that's a clever maneuver oh we brought it back so going back like I said going backwards isn't really a good thing really we had the rationale of it coming back and it's defending the pawn here that's if he actually came and attacked so Oh, I should have just stayed forward. It's got. Oh. It sticks in eventually because I'm. I think I'm getting half decent at spotting these types of things, um, and that's just from computer evaluation like we're doing here. Oh, gutted. Okay, right. So they brought the bishop through. We explained all that. Now the gauge bar does not. No, it's going drawish. Going drawish. So it's saying yeah, it should take, which we did say it should probably, but he hasn't done. So now we're saying we're winning this, and they're saying yeah, it should take, which I basically was saying I think. So then capturing, capturing, slight advantage to us. I'm okay with a slight advantage. That's fine. Okay, and we did say we had a slight. Well, I felt like I had a slightest of advantages positionally. And then they go for the, and this is actually going for the Fisher Spassky maneuver as well. And what's it saying? It's saying Black is winning from that maneuver. And it's now saying bring the knight up. Checks and stuff. Hmm, I didn't, I didn't really feel there was anything wrong with this actually. At all. Yes, he could have put, yeah bring the knight pawn down did he bring the pawn down yes he did so black is winning here I didn't feel the were and um, they captured we captured they captured captured yeah so I think it's because is it because they're plus one or something or they've got is it one two three four five one two three four yeah so they're plus one so that's why they're saying they win, they're winning but for me positionally like I said I, although I am a knight man and I've done my research on the differences between the two if it came to like the last ditch one million pound offer on a game from all the research that I have gone through where what is the difference between the bishop and the knight which is the most powerful one I would plump for having the bishop in a position like this so this is why I felt really quite confident about this position never mind what the evaluation is saying on this side here I suppose if the opponent played it correctly they would probably lock us down and stop the bishop from actually manoeuvring so you know blunting the blunting the uh, bishop here like it's suggesting yeah I still would be I put money on this position for me so they pushed down so they pushed the wrong space but still they're in advantage here it's showing because they're plus one so we push up and we push up 
I felt really good about my position about these maneuvers. It's saying black is winning even more so. Oh, I love these evaluations. Whoa, and um, we're pushing forward. And we gave the story about what we're doing, and it's getting worse with minus 2.3. <laughs> Crikey! But it goes to show if you're playing a human, you know, then then in positions like this, and we did say when I play like aggressive players like this player was, you know, if I am playing a human, they do tend to kind of struggle with this type of ending. So I'm not playing a computer, thankfully, I'm playing a human. And they fell into the research evaluation behaviors that I have found so that was really quite nice so pushed on so now it's a draw I didn't really see any draws as far as I was concerned it was um, pretty nailed on so the pawn pushed down attacking again and who doesn't like that pawn move oh. Yeah, I suppose if they did all these computer moves, they probably would have wiped me out, but... <laughs> okay, so the knight comes down, so we can take, take, and we give the story behind that. Because of this beautiful pass pawn here, it's um, causing some issues for, for black here. And I just want to see this end bit now with the king. So it's, um, wow, 59 plus 59. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter if they move there or not. The, there would be manoeuvres to gain the advantage so it's even going behind there is the computer there's nothing else for it so this pawn will be able to push up plus 73 yeah okay so that was very interesting um, playing against very focused aggressive player and I would say they were accurate as well with their attacks they were like attacks that you couldn't ignore you had to do something about it and I think if I'd have turned my attacks and kept on attacking I would have fallen foul because the players seemed to be quite precise with the position of their pieces and we made one error well one major error which was attacking their queen but they didn't see the opportunity to get the advantage so we got lucky there so these are types of things we take forward in our games.